Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to bring you a little bit of news from over the pond. Um, I am talking about the Chicago Ideal Org today, which is meant to be coming very soon, um, apparently. Um, David Miscavige announced at the um, New Year event, I believe it was, um, that he was going to be opening, I think it was seven new Ideal Orgs or something like that, um, a number of ideal orgs in the first quarter of this year now the first quarter um is coming to a close very soon so the pressure is on um whether or not he'll actually achieve this i would be uh, very surprised if he did um but we have a little bit of inside knowledge thanks to tony ortega um, and his substack um blog um based on the recent event that happened at chicago walk to do a little fundraiser um, so I wanted to just talk you through that a little bit. So the first thing I wanted to show you was this video. Now, when I was at London Org and we had events, um, there was lots of promo that was made um, by international management or sent down by them. Um, I imagine gold would be the ones who are making the videos and that sort of thing. Um, but generally, we wouldn't have any videos made to promote events in the org. Um, I'm sure they did exist or there were some videos made for like the big international events. But when it was something that we held in the org um, for the org that was like a local event, um, the promo was limited to us doing call in and texting people. Um, and we'd always have a big sign up board. When you walk into the org and you go downstairs, there's um, like a, the cafe area and chapel and all of that. So as you go down in towards the cafe area, there'd always be a big sign up sheet saying we've got this big event happening or we've got an event occurring next week. Write your name here if you're going to come. Um, so every member of public who was on course um, or was in the org for whatever reason would have to walk past this to get to the cafe. So everyone would see it. And there would always be a staff member um, stationed there during break times, lunch times, that sort of thing, to try and encourage people to sign up. The idea being, um, you know, they want to fill the chapel with all the people to come and watch the event. Um, and we would have days where we would have call in. So, for example, if we wanted to promote an event we would all get together and spend an hour you know as many people as possible from the org it doesn't matter what you do if you're in a you know the treasury division or hco or you know something else it doesn't matter we would all spend an hour all hands it was called it's called an all hands where we'd all sit down in the um div 6 office downstairs and call up all the publics that we know we'd go through this thing called central files which is the system we had in the church um with everyone's sort of records on it um and contact details um and we would just go through and call up and say hey you know it's alex from the church of scientology in london i saw you were on course you know a month ago or whatever we've got an event next week are you planning on coming along we'd then write their name on the board generally not a very successful action because people don't want to be hassled by Scientology all the time because they would probably also be getting calls from people trying to get them back on course and getting them to buy books and so on so anyway um we'd always do that as a before an event but there would never really be like a, a video made specifically for the event um so i guess this is something that's changed with the new smp scientology media productions setup that they have um for those of you who don't know they recently opened a, a big media production facility in los angeles where they create videos and do all the stuff that gold and era productions used to do so maybe this is just a new thing, but essentially for the Chicago org, they um, created this video. So let me just show you this. Um, this was leaked on um, Tony Ortega's blog um, and let's just have a, a little watch.
right. So that's a pretty cool video they had going on there. Um, where they said, don't forget to bring your friends. Um, I feel like they neglected to say your credit card as well, because that's something you're going to need. Um, so anyway, from this video, it's obviously very clear that um, they want all Scientologists in the area to attend. This is a big event with a big announcement. Um, now, normally when that sort of terminology is used, it's because of a large thing happening, like the, the org is going to open or something along those lines. Um, they keep it mysterious because they want you to come to the event. Um, but yeah, who knows, whatever it was about, probably, you know, going to open the org. Um, but the org hasn't opened, so I expect it was probably just a fundraiser. So they wanted to get people in um, and tell them that we're now almost ready to open the org. We only need another twenty thousand dollars or whatever it is who knows um but either way this event was a failure um and i'm not sure whether it's a failure on there's two ways it could be a failure number one it was a failure in the eyes of the event didn't attract enough people so the people promoting the event didn't do very well they didn't do a good enough job because no one showed up or um it was a really good, well put on event and 100% of people in the area showed up, but it was a failure on Scientology's part because 100 people showing up is like a handful of people. And we know this through um, a blog post that I was mentioning earlier. So this is Tony Ortega's blog and he actually stationed a photographer to sit outside um, the venue that they later announced this event to be taking place at and they sat there all day. Um, and as you can see, the road is pretty empty. It's all cordoned off like a big event's going to happen. And this is the ideal org. So there's still boarding up there. It's definitely not open. And there was even a picture from inside the event. So you can see you know, that's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you know, seven people plus a staff member. Obviously, you know, we don't know how big the room is that this was um, shot in. There could have been hundreds of people that are just not captured in this photo. Um, but I would be surprised if that was the case. Um, so either it's a failure on the part of the people promoting it and they didn't do a good enough job because there are only a handful of people that showed up, or it was a failure of Scientology because this is all the, the the people that are there. Who knows? This is another bit of promo. You know, we had stuff like this made all the time when I was in London Org, you know, little graphics. These were actually made in house by the dissemination division um, in the church. And we would have someone, Ali Calcioli, who actually is the guy who took the UK government to court um, wanting to marry his wife, Louisa, or now wife, in, in the chapel in London Org. Um, and they won, so they got the right to do that. Regardless, Ali was the guy who was in charge of dissemination, or dissem as we called it, and he would be the person who'd create things like this for London Org. Um, so there's obviously someone either at SMP doing these sorts of things, or there's someone already recruited working for Chicago Org making this stuff. Um, but look, it's really clear. It's a special announcement. All the Scientologists are attend. Don't be the one to miss. The event starts at 4 p.m. Great entertainment, great speakers, great food. All your friends apparently are going to be there as well. It's a very weird thing to say on a on a poster. All your friends. Uh, what do they expect? I don't know. But anyway, look, the promotion was there. They wanted everyone to attend. And this is this is what they got. And I want to know, because I bet that it's the majority of these people, who of those are actually staff members that we had events. So when we had events at, um, at London Org, we used to have someone take a picture um, from this angle of the audience, right, to show how busy the event was, because we had to send that up lines. We had to send it to St. Hill or International Management or whoever was, you know, the right contact wasn't my job. But someone would always take a picture and send it to show how busy the event was in the org. Um, every single event that we ever did, we even did it with book selling. I had to take a picture every day. We went book selling, uh, book selling of the um, stress test booth that we would set up. And we would always wait for um, the time when it, all of the seats were, were filled up because it made it look busier. So we'd have to send pictures of these things up lines um, to prove that we're actively promoting Scientology. So that's probably where this picture has come from. 
someone has taken his picture to send up lines and for some somehow has managed to get leaked um but the point is um when we had an event that wasn't particularly well attended um we would get staff members to sit in um uh, so that it looks busy um for the picture so it is highly likely that a number of these people are staff members who are not in uniform or staff members who are like this this lady here on the on the right i reckon she might that kind of looks like a seal uniform but you know who knows she could just be dressed similar um in a similar way but the point is people would these these photos would be staged all the time and so these are either going to be staff members who have been recruited staff members who are going to be recruited you know people they've got um on on lines that they're hoping to to say hey come and work for us um or they are scientology public with money who have donated to help open this org now all i'm going to say is the pressure is on for david miscavige to open this org in the first quarter of this year like he promised at the new year event who knows if it's actually going to happen um and even when it does open who knows if it's going to be busy or not i would highly doubt it um seeing as most of the orgs around the world are empty um and that's not just me saying that there is a document if you sit if you check a previous video of mine i made um that the uk government did some sort of random tests and checks they popped into the org in london to see how busy it was and they stated that the buildings are largely unused and underutilized so um i wouldn't be surprised even if it does open if uh, if it isn't an immediate failure in terms of the number of people attending but then again who knows i might be completely wrong um scientology might had suddenly be really popular in chicago and they're going to be full of hundreds of people on course all day every day who knows i don't know Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Um, just to let you know, sorry I ramble a little bit. I do have to have videos that are over 10 minutes because at the moment I am still trying to monetize my account and there are certain uh, prerequisites that need to be met. And one of them is the number of hours watched um, on videos that are, uh, that are longer than 10 minutes. So um, the next few videos might be a bit rambling, um, a bit of me rambling, but that's just because I need to hit that, hit that target. Um, if you guys want to support my channel, there is a link um, on the uh, in the description of every video and also on my page. Um, I'm going to or I have just set up the buy me a coffee thing. So if you want to help me out and, and you know, send five pounds or five dollars over and buy me a coffee, that'd be really helpful. Um, and I would really appreciate it. But also no worries if not. I'm not in this to make money, but it would be nice if uh, I could cover some of my costs. Um, anyway, that's it from me. Thanks for everyone who's subscribed. If you haven't already subscribe down below and I'll see you guys on the next one.